King Charles's coronation is officially set for June of next year, because after 10 days of bearing his mum, the one thing everyone's, everyone wants more of is to see the royal family more. We want more of the royal family. The planet is dying. A Cretan was just elected prime minister of Great Britain, and she's deficit financing tax cuts for the wealthy based on an economic theory discredited 40 years ago. But let's clog the streets of London and spend millions we don't have to celebrate the world's most dysfunctional family. The only difference between the royal family and the Manson family is King Charles doesn't have a swastika carved into his forehead. That's because his uncle Edward VII did that, and that's the real reason Edward VII had to give up the throne. He carved a swastika into his forehead. Edward VII was a Nazi sympathizer, as were a lot of members of the aristocracy in the lead up to and after World War II. Well, King Charles's face is now supposed to be on the money, but the Exchequer announced this week they're waiting another two years before Charles's face will grace British banknotes, probably because the pound is already taking such a big hit this year. The last thing it needs is a rancid comb over and a bull elephant's ears. For the time being, Queen Elizabeth's face will continue to appear on British banknotes, but because she's no longer the sovereign, they are replacing her crown with a head full of maggots, dirt, and worms. According to Buckingham Palace, the royal family received more than 50,000 letters right after the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Some of the letters were condolences, but the vast preponderance of letters were in response to an ad on Craigslist for a slightly stained and rather sticky leather throne cushion. I guess they're selling off pieces of the estate. Queen Anne, not Queen Anne, Princess Anne. Princess Anne is the hardest working royal. She performs 400 official duties each year. On Wednesday, she came to New York City and rode the Staten Island Ferry. Many people ask, why would Princess Anne travel thousands of miles just to ride the Staten Island Ferry? And the answer is really quite simple. She's boning Pete Davidson. The king of Staten Island is boning Princess. That is, okay, that Photoshop didn't quite work. Seriously, uh, Princess Anne went to Staten Island yesterday and then she was in Manhattan all day today why is she in New York City? Well, after two weeks of marching behind her mom's coffin, she misses the smell of horse shit. Welcome to New York City, Princess Anne. The great thing about Princess Anne visiting New York City is it's the only time when us New Yorkers can say, I don't care if you're the Queen of England's daughter, now get the fuck out of my way. They're actually saying it to the Queen of England's daughter. Every day I say to somebody, I don't care if you're the Queen England's daughter, get the fuck out of my way. This time I get a chance to actually say that to the Queen of uh, England's daughter, Princess Anne, the hardest working royal in show business. Meanwhile, back in Buckingham Palace, Prince Charles thought he was being visited. Whoa. Let me get that back up again, is what he said. There we go, a little better. Meanwhile, back in Buckingham Palace, Prince Charles thought he was being visited by the ghost of his mother, but it turned out to be the cadaverous, worm-infested Prime Minister, Liz Truss. There's a piece of work. We'll say a piece of work. We'll be polite. The new Prime Minister told the new king, forget about going to Egypt for the 2022 United Nations Climate Change Summit in Sharm el-Sheikh. Uh, freak out, el-Sheikh. Say chic, Sharm el Sheik, freak out. King Charles won't be making a speech on climate change. Uh, she won't let him. Uh, the one thing that King Charles gets to do that's of any import, and Liz Truss stops him from doing it, which explains why Charles has taken to calling her mommy. I don't know what it is about women named Liz who won't allow Charles to do a blessed thing. 
now instead of gas pipes that leak into the Baltic Sea, Charles can ramble on and on about what's really important, pens that leak into the Baltic Sea.